G'day, this is Oz ADV Rider. I'm with Peter from Inter ADV. We are trying to boost his confidence when riding gravel roads today. I'm going to try and give him some pointers and help out a little bit. So I've just got him to go in front so I can see what's going on. Now let's just see how he corners. See, he's staying in line with the bike and leaning like this. But really, he should be tipping the bike over and keeping above it. <laughs> so I'll notice straight away when you're turning, you're with the bike all the time. You want to lean the bike over and keep above it when you're on the dirt. I'll go in front for a bit and show you. See what I mean? Feels a little awkward at first doing that. With these adventure bikes, you've got a big wide tank, so it's quite hard to tilt your bike. It pushes your knees out. So you've got to kind of squat and get your knees out a little. Yeah, that's better. How are you going with that? Feels a bit awkward. It feels quite awkward at first. So I've done that in yep. the past. Yep. But I've fallen into the bad habits. Yeah, yep. Um, so yeah, I noticed you from the first few that you were yep. trying to be weightless and yep. on the other side on the turn and all yep. the rest. But you what happens is I clamp up, especially with the sun, until I start feeling more comfortable. Yep. And I go into bad habits. Yep. Like I know not to hold straight like that. Yep. I know you meant to hold like this. Yep. But I go back to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yep. Do you have any weight on the handlebars when you're standing? You should. Do you have weight on the handlebars? You should be able to just take your hands off at any time. Yeah. I've noticed you, you're, you're like you're weightless and you're floating on the yep. bike. Yep. I've noticed that. that you're yep. So, so yeah, I know your knees aren't great, but it means bending your knees. And because these tanks are so wide, it's hard tilting the bike over when you're standing. You've got to sort of squat and stick your knees out. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, when it's straight, I did dig my knees into the tank to take the weight, so I've got nothing on my arms. Gotcha. Yep. Oh, beautiful through here, isn't it? Sensational. Sensational. To any corners, you know, you don't know if there's going to be mud in it or whatever, just take it slow as you want. Yeah. But if you're above the bike with it tilted over, you've got a lot more control. Sure. If it does slide, you can correct it. And I reckon a couple of weeks, two, three weeks, I should be a lot more comfortable. Then we'll go jumping logs. That's, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, over, we'll keep going for a bit. Oh, fun. <laughs> Yep, if you want to go in front again, yep. A lot of people tend to lean down on the bike and um, you'll hit, feel every bump. So you mentioned weightless rider. That's exactly what you want to be. I don't think this track's too bad. It might get a bit rocky. Too rocky, uh, steep though? I don't think it's too bad, no. Should be alright. You'll be right. <laughs> yeah, just remember, keep your keep your uh, knees bent, keep your weight off the handlebars. Just let the bike move. You'll be fine. I'll go first if you like. Problem is, when people ask me what tracks are like, I can never remember. I think this one was just a bit rocky, I don't think it got too steep. So we just keep our knees bent. I've got no weight on the handlebar still. I can still take them off. I always ride with a finger on the clutch and a finger on the front brake too. It takes out a lot of reaction time. So when you're sitting, it's the same thing as when you're standing. You lean the bike over, keep your weight above the bike. 
lean forward a bit too helps get some weight on the front tire so when your weight's above the bike like that and it slides it's not a problem this sign say greater ahead next 2k's well that will be fun righto we got to negotiate a greater we'll go in there You just can't prepare people for everything, can you? <laughs> so I've got to try and get into his wheel tracks. It should be a bit firmer. I probably should get up on my feet. I don't know where the bike's going to go in this shit. off-road it's always unpredictable this is supposed to be a nice smooth easy track it certainly is smooth <laughs> it's just bloody wet and slippery I was <laughs> I would have had an off if I didn't do the something to tell me. Yep. Because I would have panicked. There were a couple of occasions where I've Yeah, yeah, it was wet. Those that were standing loose, grab that, whatever. Yep. I managed to get through. Yep, no worries. So, thank you. Yep. Well, we couldn't have asked for a much better day. It is absolutely beautiful. It's not too hot, not too cold. Might have been a tad cold this morning, but that's all right. I had a jumper on. <laughs> Poor old Peter didn't. A bit of burning off around the area, it's a little bit hazy. Well, that's been a great day out. I had a good ride, and um, I think Peter learned something. I said he's feeling a lot more confident, he's going to go out and practice now. So, if you'd like to see more riding tip videos, just let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can have a look at obstacle crossings next time. So how do you know if you're in the right standing position when you're riding off-road? You should be able to do this without any problems. Oh shit, <laughs> so Nelly, go down the gully. <laughs> you should have no weight on the handlebars. You should be able to lift your hands off, no problems. Oh shit. So to know if you're in the right to the right standing position when you're riding off-road you so how do you know if you're in the right standing position you should have no weight on the handlebars and should be able to do this so corners you want to tilt the bike over and keep your keep all your weight above the bike and you find it very easy to give it a squirt out of the corners then not that i'd encourage that kind of behavior 